everyone. Welcome to the Founders Live Hall Tour. Um, my name is Brittany. I am currently a conference ambassador on campus and a junior double majoring in criminology and sociology. Behind the camera today, we have Emily. Hi everyone, my name is Emily. I'm the marketing intern with University Housing. And tell us where you're tuning in from. So thank you guys for tuning in today. Um, one good thing about um, Founders Hall is actually that's a really central um, location on campus. So um, right in front of Founders, we have the Kimple Hall, which is sort of where the journalism center takes place. Um, to the right of Kimple, we also have the Walton College of Business. So if you are gonna be a business major, you will be taking a ton of classes there. And actually something that's under Founders um, right here is um, Slim Chickens, Sushi with Gusto, and then where the Wild Greens are. Um, you can use a lot of meal trays there, um, dining dollars, and we also have the 1021 food hall behind us. Ready to go inside? <laughs> you need these, right? Very secure. All doors are locked. Um, you will have a fog to get into the building, so if you want to have any friends come over, um, you'll have to escort them through. And this is Joey. He's a CRE here. Hello, my name is Joey Gibbon. I'm one of the coordinators for Princess Education um, over Founders Hall this past year. And, um, so basically what a coordinator for residence uh, education is, is we supervise the RAs in the building and we uh, oversee the residence hall as well. Um, outside of that, we also uh, help plan programs and events. Uh, we're on call on like a crisis response uh, for the entire campus. And then we also do student conduct hearings. Um, and um, each residence hall has, uh, has a series that works and lives inside the halls. And we are a professional uh, master level staff. Yeah. Oh, we also um, advise our Lead Hogs program, which is a, um, uh, a first year uh, leadership organization. So if you haven't signed up, um, I definitely encourage you, to, uh, encourage you to do so before you get here or during the year. Um, it's a really great opportunity for you to get to know some other students in our hall and help plan some extra uh, fun activities for other students here. So yeah, nice to see you all. Okay, so starting with the lobby area, um, here we have the front desk, which is where um, you can check out equipment for the ping pong table, which we'll see in the future. And then also there will usually be an RA standing here. So if you have any issues, you need to talk to someone, um, you can always ask them about that. And right here to the front desk, we have the kitchen area. Which is really nice because I know freshman year, I wanted to cook a lot of my own meals, especially if I'm just eating dining food, um, dining hall food 24-7. Um, it's got a stove, which is really nice. A lot of people um, I knew usually made um, brownies, cookies, stuff like that. So it's a really good experience, especially if you want to have like, like food nights. We did that a lot freshman year. Yeah, and we have um, some kitchen supplies that you can also rent from the front desk at each residence hall if you like to cook. You don't have your own supplies. Yep. And then the rest of the lobby. Um, we have the sort of seating area. Usually a lot of people here, hang with friends, just do stuff like that. Um, a lot of people study down here as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, we also have a huge TV that the residents are able to use. Um, you can bring your own consoles, bring your own games. Um, a lot of tournaments happen here, like Smash Bros, Mario Kart, stuff like that. Yeah, um, also if you go see over here where our front desk is located, uh, we do have RAs that work at that front desk. Um, in this hall, they don't work there during the day. Um, we actually have a hall admin over at Humphreys um, that serves uh, the Humphreys and Founders location, and that's where all the packages and mail uh, will be um, um, sent over to. Um, so we have a front desk here for RAs that work here and stuff like that after hours after like 4 p.m. or during the weekends, um, but you can pick up all your mail and packages over at Humphreys. So um, here's the ping pong table that I mentioned earlier. Um, if you want to play ping pong, there will be supplies that you can check out at the front desk. So that's honestly a really nice thing because there's a lot of ping pong games that happen. Um, we also have a bunch of water fountains everywhere. I think there's one on each floor too. Yep. Yeah, there's definitely bring your own water bottle. That's saved me so much in the Arkansas heat especially. Um, <laughs> Are you much of a ping pong player? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. 
You've got can, some skills. I can I can beat some people in some tournaments. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, Emily, you how's your ping pong game? I'm bad at it. I have no coordination. <laughs> I thought you were flipping the script. I thought you were like totally good at it. You've been no. in a tournament though, right? Uh, yeah, I wasn't good. <laughs> I, I, I didn't make it far. <laughs> you never know. Um, this is kind of a laundry area. One thing that we like to tell people about is um, you don't have to bring any coins. Um, it's all included in your student fees. And there's actually an app called Laundry Alert that you can download on your phone. I like to use it all the time. Um, basically, it can tell you if there are any open washers, how long a washer or dryer has to take left. So especially if you don't want to like carry all your clothes down here just to find that there's nothing open. It's a real game changer. Um, we also have a bunch of vending machines and an ice machine, which is really nice because it's hot in Arkansas. Ice is a need. Mm -hmm. so. And uh, it, takes, it takes digital uh, wireless pay as well, I think Apple yes. Pay, Google Pay. And um, about the uh, laundry machines, um, comes out of your housing fees. So okay. not specifically student fees, which yeah. all students have to pay, but if you're a housing student, then it comes out of your housing fees. Yeah. Right. And then we want to go oh, in the study room? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is Joey's office. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will be in my office until the 16th. There's actually going to be a new series that's coming over here to be Founders and Gibson. Um, I will be transitioning from Walton, Gregson, and Duncan, but I will be working in and out of that office um, until the 16th as well to assist that transition. Um, we have sort of a little study room down here. Yeah, we can head inside. I've got it. Um, it's got a huge TV, which is really nice. And then usually a lot of study groups like to come in here, um, maybe work on some chemistry together, math, stuff like that. It's really multi-purpose. We also allow a lot of our band students to practice in this conference room as well. Um, so that way they don't have to play in the halls. Uh, there's no residents that live in this on this floor, so it's a really nice area. If you are wanting to practice in your instruments and stuff like that, you don't want to play on the floor and that sort of stuff, you can come down here and reserve this. A space by just emailing your Siri to um, use that space for a couple hours to practice and stuff. Which is a really nice location. Do lead hogs meet in here, or do they meet um, in areas? So typically, our lead hogs will also meet in this room as well. So okay. if you ever receive uh, so on our meetings and stuff like that, we'll meet in this room, and you'll be meeting with the founders of Gibson, uh, and Gibson Um And there was a ping pong table. We, there's no pool table, but there's actually a pool table over at Humphreys, which our uh, students and founders can also use since you have access to Humphreys for mail and stuff, so you can go over there and play pool as well. There's that uh, television. We'll just, we'll just note that this is a digital uh, poster. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, a TV on each floor. RAs will post important information there. Since we don't have like bulletin boards, so they'll use the TVs to post stuff and info and uh, bits and flyers and everything you'll find before that gets regularly updated. Um, we are getting into the elevator, so we may lose connection for a little bit, but we will be right back if that happens. Yeah, stay tuned. Yes. <laughs> so, did you tell us what you're studying? Yes. Okay. Uh, sociology and criminology. Sociology and criminology. Yep. Those things seem to go together to me. Oh, yeah. Um, a lot of my classes are. Pretty interesting. I'm I can imagine, lie. yeah. You like true, true crime podcasts? Oh, yeah. What's the best one right now? Um, the best. <laughs> Just, um, also, if you notice, when you get off the elevator, um, there's two elevators on at each floor. Uh, we do have the centralized uh, trash rooms on every floor, so we don't have to walk outside and throw away your trash and stuff. Uh, we have uh, the trash room right here. It's in the middle of the hall, and they just dump their trash down the trash chute. And we also have a recycling bin. Um, so if you're into recycling, which we heavily encourage you, we actually just won the competition for Recycle Mania this past year at Founders. So um, our hall was the best at recycling uh, for the amount of residents that we had in the material, which was really awesome. We definitely want to win that again. Um, so that is a recycling. We also have a little cardboard station down in the lobby as well. Speaking of hidden secrets, what is your favorite true crime podcast? Oh, no. Um, <laughs> I think right now I'm more leading into like the YouTube videos, like okay. Bailey Sarian. Mm -hmm. She's a kind of like a crime YouTuber. She's really interesting. She just does her makeup like while she is. Um, oh, I've seen those. Yeah, this is one of the bathrooms. Um, we'll go ahead and take you in here. It's very nice. Three toilet areas. Three sinks. And then we have these really amazing shower areas. 
areas. Um, they're pretty huge and the door locks itself. So um, one thing I would definitely recommend in a community kind of bathroom is to bring your own shower caddy. It's really a lifesaver. Also but, shower shoes. Yeah, don't forget about shower shoes, but don't spend like $20 on a pair of flip flops. Just get like the $1 one from Old Navy. Exactly. Yeah. And there's three showers. Three showers. And there, there's typically three uh, community bathrooms on every floor, except for the uh, second floor has two, so it's a smaller, and then the sixth floor has a giant bathroom, since that floor is also smaller, and that just has one giant bathroom on every floor. This is one of the kind of study areas. I think there's three on each floor. Yeah, three on each floor except for the, the fifth of the, uh, sorry, the sixth of the second, which have two since, it, like I said, it is a little smaller, so they just have this two little study spaces there. Yes, and then this is the wall you can yes. write on. Yeah, okay. so there's actually a wall you can write on, which is kind of like perfect for chemistry, especially. But yeah, yeah you can hook up a you know, frame projector, showcase stuff on there, you can use that as a whiteboard, whatever you kind of need. Uh, we also have the TV up there uh, where students will use that and stuff like that. We have a lot of poker tournaments and a couple <laughs> other uh, fun activities that our RAs will do and stuff like that on the floors and stuff. But a lot of students like to use this stuff. It's a quiet place to study and hang out and stuff. Yeah. So we're going to look at the two types of rooms that we have here. One is called the, uh, the gable and the other is just sort of a normal room. So. We'll check out the gable first. Okay. So, if you live on the north end of the fifth floor, there are some gable rooms, which just means that the rooms are a little smaller because the ceilings, uh, uh, as you can see, it goes in a little bit. Uh, so just a couple rooms on the fifth floor, a couple of north or northern end of the rooms, and then all of the sixth floor are gable rooms. The rest of the building is all uh, what we'll show you in a minute, which is a normal layout of the room. And um, feel free to ask any questions you guys have about any measurements or anything in the gable room or the standard room, which we're going to go look at right now. The uh, sink, that's one of the really unique features. Oh, yeah. about. Founders. You see. Yeah. So you get your individual seat. You have little uh, cabinet drawers like that. Uh, so uh, nice little storage area and stuff like that. Uh, we believe most uh, mini fridges can also fit underneath uh, the other part of the fridge. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, mini fridge should be able to fit underneath the seat area over here. Um, uh, besides that. Um, you, all the furniture is movable in here except for the sink area, obviously. Uh, but you'll have three distinct um, furniture pieces outside the armoire, which is a desk, a uh, nightstand, and a three dress, uh, three three drawer dresser. Um, we're getting a couple of questions. Um, Amy asks, "Is there a map to show how much of a gable you may have? Room is five nineteen. Five nineteen. Um, what would you say, a map of the, the rooms and stuff like that? Like On the website, we do yeah. have a floor, uh, a floor, floor plan, plan or layout, but it may be, I think it's typical. I don't know that it's yeah, exactly it's, representational. But it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty it's accurate. accurate. Yeah, pretty accurate. Could they hit you up with an email if they, if yeah, they were talking about one specific room? Yeah, if, you're, if you need to know exact measurements or something like that of your individual room, you can email me um, at jdgem. UEN at uark.edu, and I'll be more glad to answer any questions you might have uh, to any sort of individual measurements. Uh, Mike asks, can you measure each shelf inside the closet? Yeah, of course. Here we go. You're specially trained and certified. Each shelf inside the closet, okay. Yeah. This one is about 15 and 3 fourths inches deep and then about 16 inches wide. Do you mind giving the height too? Yes. There is a lip there, but I think it goes back. Yeah. It's about 12 inches high. Okay. 
Did they do one, what the other ones? Did they do one all? all these of them? these three maybe look the same. They are the same. Yeah. So, so it's, it's really like, just that one and then those two. Yeah. The evil device. What was it? Can you say that one more time? Fifteen and three fourths. Okay. High. Uh, deep. Deep. And then about seventeen inches wide, mm -hmm. and then um, about thirty-six inches tall. Okay. Maybe we give them the uh, the length. Just one of those. Width. Yeah, just one of these would be fine. Or just the height of that one. Okay. Uh, yeah, just the height. Yep, ten and a half inches. Okay. So. Um, someone else asked, did you say gables are on the fourth floor? No. Uh, so only uh, some of the rooms on the fifth floor. Um, uh, it's on the northern end. Um, you can always email uh, and ask if one of your rooms is gable. That's fine. Uh, but it's just the, the northern end of the fifth floor and all sixth floor. And the rest of the building is all the normal. Those uh, rooms are specifically called out on the housing website. You yeah. can go to the Founders Hall page or just Google UARC and Founders on Google and you'll get right to that page. It'll tell you what room numbers. Yeah. All right. Um, Mike asks, if I bring my own chair, is there any place I can store the original dorm chair? No, unfortunately, all furniture that is provided in the student room, you have to keep in the student room. Um, you won't be, you should, you can't bring anything outside of the hall. Um, Chris, so, yeah. oh. sorry. Oh, <laughs> Kristen asked, do students need dehumidifiers and fountain founders? Um, I don't, uh, that's something like we would say, hey, you have to bring this. I mean, it's each their own, but that's something that you need or want. Um, that's allowed to bring your own dehumidifier, uh, uh, but like, that's not something I've, of experience where people are like, I have to bring some more of those. So just, I think it goes out of personal preference. And I don't think this is a hall, like some of our older halls, um, you know, we, we recommend that you don't cover over the ventilation areas yeah. and a dehumidifier can help with some of the older issues that a building has. This, I don't think this hall has any of those older, because no. it's a 2013 building. Yeah, it's, it's pretty modern. Very new. And uh, also the other question, you want to let them bring his own chair. It's just like, you gotta find a kind of a space in the room to put it. You know? Yeah, um, freshman year, a lot. my roommate actually brought her own chair. So what she did was she just pulled the desk out from under her bed and then she just kept the old chair and pushed it into the corner. Yeah. So. It's actually a little seating for having people over too. Oh yeah. yeah, pretty good. Um, Amy asks, are there measurements for how high the beds will loft? There are. Um, this is sort of a mid-level lofting right here. If you go to movein.uark.edu, go about midway down the page to ready to arrive, you'll find an area that says lofting information, mattress information. It's going to give you the top and the bottom, and you can go every three inches between those two values. We just don't know them offhand. Yeah, and if you know um, what um, you know where you want your bed lofted to before you arrive, you can always submit a work order for that. So that way you don't have to worry about that right when you arrive. We'll already have that submitted to the right length and height that you want. Um, so if you know you want it on the top level or you know in the middle level, then you can submit that request. They all should stay at the middle before you get here. Um, well, not in the middle, but it's a little lower than that. But it's wherever length or furniture underneath that can fit. Uh, but if you have a side, uh, a height that you really want, yeah, you can submit that before you get here through our work, uh, work request website. Can you tell them how they can get there to the work request? Yeah, if they just go to the housing you are, and uh, if you go over down to services on that tab, um, you'll find one that says work requests, um, and you can submit through that. It's just like a kind of a Google form, and then we'll get that, and uh, you'll get an email when it's completed and accepted. Um, um, I can tell a little bit on this one. It's about 56 inches. It looks like okay. the highest. You can set it to 56. Yes. Um, Kristen asked, "Is there a place to store golf clubs in the dorm?" Uh, your room. So anything that you want to store, you can store it in your room for that sense. But uh, there's no additional storage that we have outside of your your room. You might consider a third, you know, some some off-campus place where you could rent some space. Yeah. That's pretty fun, but we don't have those. Yeah. Anymore. Some people will take out storage units and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There are some good golf courses around here if you if you want to go do that. So, um, someone asked, "Can you measure the inside of the bathroom drawer and also the dresser drawers, please?" Yes. Okay, it's about eighteen and three 
fourths inches deep and then um, nine and five eighths inches wide. All right, and then the dresser drawer. And, the, uh, and then the bottom one's actually kind of taller. That's the only difference. So okay. if you measure like the height. Yeah, I think um, this one is about three inches probably yeah. deep in that regard. And that one's probably what? Uh, six or seven inches, a half foot, about a half foot. There you go. It's about 21 inches deep. Thirty and one third inches wide. All right. Um, someone asked, "Is there a thermostat in the room?" There is. Yes. Each room has their own. So definitely work with your roommate to find a temperature that works for best for you, uh, for both of you, and find a compromise on that. But yes, that is controllable by all. We do transition from heat to. Uh, 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 transition off from heat, uh, to heat or something like that, but once it gets a lot colder, yeah, it's um, somewhere around the spring break, we'll take it to its where it can only provide uh, coolness. Yeah, and I believe somewhere around Thanksgiving, we turn it so it'll only provide warmth. Yeah, uh, is this one of those buildings that transitions yes. completed? Okay, so then our goal in housing is to keep you somewhere between 68 and 72 degrees, which is the comfortable level for humans for yeah. the most part. Um, but, uh, and then you have some range there that you can play with. Yeah. Um, Mike asks, can you show all the electrical outlets in the room? There are so many here. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> yeah. There's, There's like 15. Some right oh, there. Yeah. There is one, uh, right two there. right there. A billion right here. Three. Every, uh, dorm room, uh, sorry, every room is going to have, uh, Ethernet port, uh, um, and a cable box area that you can hook up to your, uh, uh, Cable box as well. That uh, eight plus another. There's another one on the sink area. Plus another five. So that's thirteen. Fourteen, fifteen. So there's fifteen. Our average is between eight and twelve, and you got fifteen here. So. Um, someone asked, "Can you measure the window?" Emily, did you use a tension rod or did you use one, Brittany? Um, I, I'm using a tension rod right now. Okay. I just used the blinds that they provided. Yeah. It's about um, 61 inches tall and thirty-seven inches wide. Let me give a quick shout out to these blinds. Um, can you pull it real quick? So it's not blackout. It's not blackout, but it's pretty dark. Yeah. yeah. You're not going to get a ton of sunlight coming in. Oh yeah. Um, someone asked, "Can you measure the length between the beds?" Yes. And it is movable. Do you, yeah. Do they want like from wall to wall, or are they just Probably curious about like the current dresser to dresser uh, configurations? Yeah. I would like take this. Like I would take this bed. bar and do the between the bars. Yeah. I know it's kind of hard sometimes to line it up. 61 inches. I don't know how many feet that is, but yeah. <laughs> you're talking about a rug. Um, someone asked, are there drawers on the desk? Yes, there's this lockable drawer right here. So if you do like want to put yeah. valuables in here, um, you can lock it and it won't like, okay, well. Yeah, it, it will, it'll lock. Yeah, it's just, it'll lock. You just have to actually buy the lock. Yeah, um, and that drawer is separate from the desk itself. There's not one on the actual desk. That, but that, uh, all like I said, all three pieces of these furniture are like movable. Yeah. Um, so you can either use it as like an additional part of your desk or as a nightstand, whatever you kind of want to use it for. And pro tip on the lock: don't get one where the key goes in, but get one that has the little numbers on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That way you won't have any so risk that you're going to lose a key. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kristen asked, hanging stuff on the walls, monkey hooks, question mark? I would encourage you not to use anything that's going to damage the wall. Yeah. So, like, uh, if you do, you can uh, just be follow the instructions very clearly um, and make sure that you're removing it properly. Um, because otherwise, if you do damage the wall, there are fees associated with that. And those fees are located in the student handbook guide uh, for our housing handbook and stuff. 
Um, so if you do use that sort of stuff, please, please, please follow the instructions of how to use it properly. Um, and don't just rip it off and stuff like that, please. Command strips and blue painter's tape. Oh, yeah, yes. recommended. Yeah. Yeah. Just fan of the painter's tape. Yeah. yeah. And someone asked, is it possible to see a quick look at a non-gabled corner room? Is there more than one window in a corner room? I would say, I'm pretty sure most of the rooms uh, that are we go look at one uh, at the hallway, if that's okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. that's perfectly yeah. fine. I, I wonder if we have any more questions in yeah, here. Let's and then we can finish, finish up in here. Yeah. Let's, 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 okay. let's table that question for okay. the moment. Uh, Mike asks, can you measure the two desks? Maybe he means the, like the desk and the nice stand together. Let's do both separately. Both I separately. do them separately. I don't okay. know how. I'll take that shit out. Oh, do you need a hand? Literally. Okay, it's about 32 and a half inches wide. Someone asked, can you measure from underneath the counter to the floor? Yes. So is this a drawer? No. Okay. So I'm going to measure from this one and from yeah. that one because they're both separate. Okay. Oh, that lip? Yeah, you can yeah. tell. Yeah. Look right there. This one's about 26 and a fourth. And then this one is... Um, 32 and 3 fourths. Uh, Nora asks, which side is A and which side is B? Also, is a safe recommended? Um, so when I, when we say A and B side, honestly, you can uh, typically just choose your own side. That's just you and your roommate choosing which side that you want to pick as A and B. Uh, but like what you typically we would say, um, right when you walk in, A and then B. So, um, uh, a would be left and B was be right. But it's really up to you and your roommate how you guys, uh, guys want to decide that. And then the other question? Safe recommendation of safe. Um, it's, it's up to you if you um, if that's a preference that you would like to do. Um, maybe if you don't know your roommate and stuff like that, you can um, bring a safe, just be safe. Yeah, um, but uh, it's really up to you. Um, I have had students bring safes before, so it's really just up to you. If you have valuables and stuff like that, you want to make sure. Um, um, because you know you have roommates bring it up and come over you know sometimes you don't know those other people that they might be bringing over so if you have those sort of items and you just want to be extra secure sure. go for it but we don't deal with a lot of theft in the no. resident rooms at all no. so and especially since they are locked the doors lock uh, when you leave so um, it's an actually like security measure to it and like uh, Brittany showed you with the fallback system and that sort of stuff so um, our buildings are are safe and stuff like that so uh, like I said it's just really up to you if you would like to bring one uh, Mike asks, do I have to request to change the bed frame height? Um, it's You can uh, request or you can do it yourself. Um, it's either one. Um, if you're not sure before you get here, um, but you decide you want to change it and stuff like that when you get here, uh, we have mounts uh, downstairs so you can help uh, get the bed frame out of there. Um, and you can work with you, whoever is here with you to move the height anytime during the year. You can request if you don't want to do it yourself. Uh, we'll have maintenance people to help you out with that. I would be, give you a, just a you know, heads up that first kind of day, the first, you know, first couple days, it can be super hectic. So if you put a request um, right when you get here, it might take a couple days to get through that request for you, uh, but you can do it yourself and we can help you out with that. Three things you might want to consider when you're moving in or bring with you. Rubber mallets, always good to have. As, as Joy mentioned, we do have rubber mallets, but it doesn't hurt if you've got your own rubber mallets. Yeah. You just toss it in the back of the car and you've got it. Uh, a dolly, we do have some dollies you can rent with an ID or rent, yeah, just borrow yeah. with an ID. Um, 
But bringing your own is never a bad idea. And third, packing boxes in small, packing in smaller boxes that are easier to carry. Yeah. Um, you're gonna have a better experience that way. Um, someone asked, is there an outlet under the sink area? Probably yes. either of them. Yes. There's one just one. There. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so it's like 16. Yeah, 17. Um, Aiden asked, how high are the beds lofted already in this room? I think we measured it a moment ago. Was it 52 or something? 55. Was that the highest? Or I think he's talking yeah, about where it's at right now. I think I can go higher. Yeah, okay. Let's see, right now it's at. Right now it's about 35 inches, and then maximum, I think I was wrong, maximum is gonna be 59 inches right there. All right. Um, Amy asked, can you go back into the gable room and spend a few minutes so we can see how the furniture fits with the smaller room size? Okay. Uh, um, anything else for this room at the moment? We already did that. Uh, yes, the dresser under the bed is also movable. Uh, someone wants to see a corner gable room, mm -hmm. um, and did we measure the dresser? It's the same yeah, as the, the others, yeah, so. Yeah. Okay, then we're caught up, and we can go. Let's go back to the gable, and then we'll end in the uh, corner. So one of the, the biggest difference in furniture for the gable rooms is just going to be the dressers. Um, they are smaller. Um, so uh, let's say dress, sorry, armors. Um, they are gonna be smaller than the typical ones. Uh, but other than that, the rest of the furniture is going to be uh, the same. And then there's the extra window. Yeah, some of the, some room, the gable rooms, I believe, have extra windows in them. Uh, Similar way. I think they wanted to see a corner room that was. Um, Here's a gable corner. Yeah, right. both gable corners. And then I think they wanted to see a normal. Okay, the board as well. Uh, here's a gable corner. We take a look. Can I give it a, a quick 360 in there? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then all the rooms come with the um, towel racks in the back of the door, so that's really nice, especially. All right, there's 360. Um, we have a question from oh, yeah. Amy. Amy asks, she has a couple questions. She says, how much smaller is the gable room? The measure, I don't, can't tell you off the top of my head, but there is measurements on our UARC website and it'll tell you exactly there. Um, I will say the only, um, yeah, it's only the males in the fifth and sixth floor that will have those gable rooms, uh, but it, it does have the, uh, the dimensions on the website. And Amy also asks, for the gable rooms, is the closet size also on the website? Um, we can do the size right now if she's curious. Yeah. Yeah. The height first of the whole thing, maybe. See how much it's shrunk down. Yeah. Well, to the drawers. Do they want like specific measurements? Or? Yeah. Is she? Is, what? What part is she? Oh, she was wondering how much smaller is the armoire. Armoire. So, yeah. I, we would have to measure to tell you exactly. I'd say just do the height and the yeah. width. Oh, the width yeah. is the same? The width should be the same, but you can go ahead and do it just to make sure that. Okay. Right there. Can someone put their hand on that side so I don't drop? Yes, I got you. Should be about 36. Yep. Well, All right. It's accurate on the website. Yeah, it is. There you go. <laughs> 
Um, and then any other questions before we can show you a corner just normal room as well. I think that was one of the questions okay, yeah. throughout the windows. Okay. Um, but besides that, um, some other interesting facts about the building. Uh, it is a co-ed building. We have 200 students that live here. Um, the second and the fourth floor are all female. The fifth and sixth are male. The third floor is actually where our business LLC is located. Uh, it is a co-ed floor. Um, it's just like any other floor right here. It's just split uh, males on one side, females on the other side. And that's where business LLC is located. It's one part of it. The other half of uh, the students who are part of the business LLC live in Humphreys, which is just the neighboring building. Um, other things to make sure you guys get involved in when you guys get here, move in, is A Week. We have a lot of fantastic events for you guys to get uh, to take part in and get to know our students and stuff like that here. Um, we do have one exciting program that's new this year. is a Pick One initiative. Um, it is an opportunity for you to pick one organization that you're really excited about and want to try to, to get to know information about and join. Um, and each of those uh, pro, um, organizations are going to host um, uh, their own special event um, for you guys to know so other students that are also interested in joining this organization. So, yeah. Pick one that you are at I think is the website. That is correct. And for so. us at Housing, I think we want you to get you involved in RIC. I believe that's one yeah. of our programs. Yeah, RIC, Lead Hogs, will have a lot of really awesome, I believe our Lead Hogs are doing a field day and everything for it. So, yeah. Very nice. And here we are on the, uh, gosh, on the opposite side of the building. <laughs> yeah. So, here is what a corner room looks like. It's got two windows. It's a little bigger space than some of the other rooms since it is a corner room, but it'll have two windows in here, uh, one side and the other side. So yeah. Do you have anything to say to the incoming uh, first year students or any advice or um, anything? Yeah, definitely get involved, um, especially like during A week, like Joey was saying. That's where I met a lot of my friends, um, but also I met a lot of my friends by just going to door to door and just knocking. So surprising how nice people are, especially freshman year and they don't know anyone and you don't know anyone so yeah. do you have any yeah anything library. else to so say get involved and get to know people that's why you're here you know have a good uh, you know outside of just uh, you're here more than just an education and this is an awesome learning experience you meet a lot of lifetime and uh, uh friends while you're here so get involved um you know put yourself out there you know break out of your shell if you need to and get to know some people um and you know have a good time and we're here you all have our ras that live in the, in the dorm as well to help you guys get involved and they're a great resource so definitely reach out and get to know your ra uh, we'll have one per floor and stuff like that for y'all to get to know um, but other than that we're excited to have y'all here uh, in a couple weeks which is super exciting um, and if y'all need anything else don't hesitate to reach out to us and um, we'll see you soon <laughs>